Good morning, everyone. This is Coleman from Coleman's Coins and Currency. And today, I want to give my bipartisan political commentary on this video. And this video was published by Fox News. And it was titled, Return of Mask Mandates is Blowing My Mind, Governor Christy Noem. And she is the South Dakota governor. Now, she did address a lot of key components, but in my opinion, what she's lacking was, well, in 2020, when the COVID-19 pandemic first started, it was really bad. I mean, there were a lot of people that died and there were tons of people in hospitals and it was necessary for the U.S. economy to shut down during the spring of 2020. Now, in my opinion, I think that Governor Christy Noem is too far right with this because she she didn't address the fact that the COVID-19 pandemic was very bad and that there were a lot of people that died with it. Now, a lot of Democratic governors throughout the United States during the spring and early summer of 2020 had to unfortunately close their states due to COVID. Now, as you viewers remember, back in the spring of 2020, I was ultra con ultra conservative, ultra Republican, you know, Trump supporter, all of that. But now I'm more bipartisan a few years later now because this is my favorite governor right there. Governor Gretchen Whitmer of the great state of Michigan. Now, her viewpoint on the, on this is, well, she knew that masks weren't, weren't effective for Michiganders as a way to protect them from the COVID-19 virus. Now, in May of, of 2021, when the Michigan mask mandate ended, and the economy opened at a full capacity, which it has been open straight since. There, there has been no closures. There has been nothing. And when I met the governor about a month ago, yeah, she gave me a high five and a, and a hug and was very, very nice. I mean, she didn't care at all, you know, because – because she knows that masks do nothing, social distancing does does very little, if anything, to prevent the spread of COVID. But see, you know, but the thing is, though, uh, you know, again, you know, Chrissy Noem's trying to, you know, tout, you know, you know, Trump coming to South Dakota and for, you know, Trump to, to do a rally but, but you know, Trump is a far right extremist candidate who, in my opinion, is not bipartisan enough to be a good fit for for a presidency. Just remember the controversial Muslim travel ban that was back in the fall and winter of two thousand and seventeen. You know, that was a very contra controversial act and a lot of Americans and there were a lot of Trump voters that did not like that act. So what I want to, con to conclude is this. Even with Governor Christy Noem, the grass isn't greener on the other side. And you have to remember once she's done with her second term as the governor of South Dakota, she's done. You know, she can't run for a third or a, or, or a fourth term in office. Now, if, on the other hand, we're going to turn the light, if, 
Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker wanted to run for a third term, he could because the state of Illinois has no term limits in their state constitution. Now, myself being a 12-year former Illinoisan who lived in, in, in Mokina and who grew up in the state of Illinois, Illinois, you know, I I have that that kind of of a Illinois viewpoint of of where I am bipartisan because I grew up and this is a true fact. I grew up in one of the most democratic states in the entire Midwest. Yes, that is right. But oh, but a lot of them are bipartisan. There are a lot of Illinois Democrats, such as myself, that are bi- bipartisan. Now, what does that mean? Well, I'm 50% Democrat and I'm 50% Republican when it goes on, on to issues. And depending on what particular candidate is running, I could vote Democratic or I could vote Republican. Now... Let's just say for fun that Gretchen Whitmer ran for president in 2023. I I will will 1000 percent vote vote for her, even though there may be a better Republican contender. I will vote for her because in terms I I I am a half half, you know, half Democrat. I am a 50% Democrat when it comes to it. So yeah, so that was today's very interesting bipartisan political video analysis of this new story on Microsoft Start so that you viewers can check out the video and you can see it for yourselves. So please make sure to su- subscribe, like, and turn on those push bell notifications so that you viewers will never miss another epic, numismatic, bipartisan, political, or comedy video. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.